teaching now is unrecognizable. So I taught for 30, I've taught for 30 years and for about, I don't know, 23 of them, it was always the same. Um, now it's, it's just, a, it's a completely different scene. Um, we begin the school year at Yale Law School with, you know, just mental health training instead of like, oh, here's some provocative debates. Let's start with that. It's a lot of training, um, diversity and inclusion training, um, coaching about what you should or shouldn't say. And we all are instructed, like there's certain things that we shouldn't talk about and, you know, how what our syllabus should look like and things that could offend students. And I used to love, even up until five years ago, my favorite thing was, I'm very proud that my classes are well known for being the absolute most genuinely diverse classes. Um, by genuinely diverse, I mean in every sense, like it includes politically diverse. I have a lot of conservative students in there, but because of who I am, I also have like tons of women of color and immigrants kids and, you know, parent, uh, first generation professional kids, I mean, you know, kids whose parents didn't go to high school. And I used to love just having these provocative debates and people would get really all heated, but then afterwards everybody would go for a beer. Never again. I mean, that's, I mean, at least not right now. Now it just, um, you, I, I used to have students who are conservatives become great friends with real liberals. Now, no communication. If you're, it's very tribal. If you're very progressive and you make friends with somebody on the right, then you are, you know, you're a traitor. You're, you're not part of the tribe anymore. You're, you're FedSoc adjacent. So FedSoc is Federal Society is the conservative group. If you are liberal and have a friend from FedSoc, you are FedSoc adjacent and you're, you, know, you get like shamed. So it's, it, there's a lot more anger and polarization, but there's also so much more sensitivity. Um, mm -hmm. People, we have a new Dean now just for this, that it's like an administrative position, you know, two or three people, but anytime a student has a problem, instead of just talking to the other student, like, let's talk this out, you run to this, this dean and you file this complaint and then they're hauled in. And it's, I, I think it's extremely dysfunctional. I mean, there are a lot of positive reasons for it too. I do understand, um, you know, I think there are a lot of changes for the better. There's a lot of inappropriate comments that shouldn't be made or are hopefully not made now or less so, but I think it's been an overcorrection. I mean, it's, it's just, um, it's, you know, and I, I wouldn't have students over just to, even for parties, people might feel too, I don't hold them anymore because some people might feel too much pressure, you know, is there pressure to drink? Is there pressure to be impressive? Um, so it's, you know, I just do it now, like, let's just go all for tea, you know, and, um, and I'm much more careful about what I say. So it's a really different time.